Flexa Rotten Dog. Make an ask. Okay, head over to the retrieve items. Alexa, you bet. Damn it.
a little bit. Yeah. Can we fix that wall? Yeah, that's where we're going right now. You can take it. Out, oh. I didn't want you to go to the next item. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry. Not my responsibility. It's pretty good where it is. Do you want me to do it again? I would not. <laughs> Sorry. No, it, it ended up in a good spot. Okay. <laughs> Good over there. Hurry, Claire. Like, walk really fast. Good.
Come on, Alexa. Oh. Right, just let her fit. Right now is the best to wait. Let's watch Nala. And the group. Now you better do better, Alexa. Or you're not getting dinner tonight. She's done. Completely done. Now you can get good retrieves. Oh, you little bitch, you do that so well.
movements of brilliance. That looked really pretty right there. one right mm -hmm. in the healing um, started out very nice attention then later on here and there a little distracted then we lose some of the attention and because of that probably you also lose sometimes a little bit the, the good positioning right um, so we here and there we have a little attention uh, missing but then also we have a little lagging because of that maybe or related to that in the set the dog should be sitting a little faster um, and then uh, when in the group, probably a little more distraction, even there, are dogs just standing very late to, to do this it. Um, the, um, still good, good healing. The uh, sit exercise uh, is very nice. Um, make sure though when you do it in all the healing exercises also the build up that you try to move your hand a little bit. Your hand is very kind of stiff, kind of like this. So try to be a little more natural in your movement. But again, sit, very nice sit exercise. The uh, down, unfortunately the dog sat there in that exercise. Um, also, I like to see a little more speed in the recall there. And then no front sit, the dog just yep, immediately totally comes around. It's like, I know what we need to do. We just finish right away. <laughs> so, unfortunately that's insufficient, that exercise. The retrieve, here too, I like to see a little more speed in that exercise. And then the dog should be a little calmer with the dumbbell and should be more correct in the finish. Um, sufficient or borderline good exercise still. Um, the jump, unfortunately no jump either way there, right? And that's core makes it hard. So if you think about it, losing 15 in one exercise, that's a big chunk. And that's kind of hard to come back from. Um, possible, but hard, because you know, basically all the other exercises have to be pretty good. The uh, wall, uh, there we don't have the back jump either on that one there. Um, also we have a double command, we have some chewing, crooked sitting, all those little things coming together. So that's insufficient, that exercise. In the send out, here too, I like to see this little more speed there. Then uh, after the dog gets up and runs to the trees there, I like to see a little better control if it's down there and of course gets an extra command. Uh, still sufficient, that exercise. But unfortunately, they not quite enough. 60 points. So sorry about that. 
Once you get the jumping, it's really yeah. nice. We just Thank need you. to fix that, right? Great. Good luck next time. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie and Lexa. Uh, a little struggling today too. Uh, uh, started with the with the long down there from the beginning. Actually, already walking up the dog is just really all over, not really healing with you. You know, looking all over and no good starting position to start out with. Then the dog from the beginning is moving around a little bit and then a little more, a little more. Then after walk, the dog is already out of position and the dog gets totally up. So the um, dog uh, definitely has to be better controlled there. And uh, then running down the field. It was close that I would say stop right there. But, you know, after a couple of commands, he got the dog back under control and that's why we said, okay, we'll, we'll continue uh, and see how things go on. So uh, in the healing that, uh, just need to see much better, right? Position and attention, the dog is just all over the place. And then again, started running away too. Again, you get her back, uh, barely. So that's why I didn't stop it there either. I thought, well, one more chance to see where we end up. Um, then of course the dog does his business there. That's why I said, just wait because you might as well. Maybe the dog gets everything out of the system. Maybe that's part of it because the dog settles finally. But we still, even after that, unfortunately, were struggling there. Um, sit exercise, uh, crooked start, and the sit exercise itself is good. But obviously, the healing, the build up, all that is part of it, right? Mm -hmm. And that's why it's so hard sometimes, like, and that's what we say, like, take your time and really fix the healing because the healing is not just the healing exercise all the build-ups, all of those, it all comes together. So when the healing is, you have problems in the healing, it goes almost into every exercise. Uh, but that was still a good exercise, that sit exercise. The, uh, so was the down, uh, again, the build-up, right? The healing there should be much better. Um, but the recall and front sit and finish, that was actually pretty nice. So there's a lot there. If you just get that, you know, the attention and the healing fixed, it will we'll go a long way. Um, the retrieve, uh, a little bit crooked, a little bit chewing here and there. Um, make sure when the dog comes back, don't have your, or, or when you take the dumbbell out, make sure you take the dumbbell inside and have your normal position there. Okay. Don't, don't stay like, stay like this with this and uh, okay. like that because it's considered a help, okay? Um, uh, sufficient exercise though on the jump. Uh, dog wants to leave or does leave early. Um, then. Um, we don't have the first jump there, and then the dog is crooked, and also should be calmer with the dumbbell. Uh, that one, of course, is insufficient. On the wall, I just let you redo it, but here's the thing. Once the dog leaves and is on the way, the exercise started, and you cannot redo exercises. So if you go by the book, that would be it, and that exercise is over, and it's minus 15. So one thing that I'll let this be is for us, you and everybody else, get a little more, you know, uh, experience, right? That's part of it. We're all gaining experience today, and that's a, that's a big part of being in the trial. Of course, we all want the title, but you know, there's a lot we have to learn, right, when we're out there. And so the more we can talk about it, learn, I know, you probably like, just let me get out of here. But, you know, let's, uh, I know how you feel, you know, we all have been there, right? So don't feel too bad. But uh, if we can avoid some of those things in the future, that, that will be really helpful. So if some of those things happen, if the dog just is already on the way, you better just throw, throw the dumbbell and see what you can make out of it. Because otherwise that exercise is zero and might as well take your chances, okay? Um, I actually kind of let you do a little bit here and still give you some points, but you know, that's beyond the point today. The, um, so once you did it, actually, then again, you know, well, better front and finish, all those little things around it, you saw that yourself. The send out, um, dog still continues a little bit after the first command, um, then later gets a double command and uh, finish. Uh, crooked and running around a little bit. Again, this comes back to just control when the dog is right next to you. And uh, we talked about the long down. So unfortunately today, 55. I hope next time we'll go better for both of you. All right? Thanks for showing.